The New Catholic Picture Bible, the story of the prophet Elisha. Elijah goes up in a whirlwind on a fiery chariot to heaven. God commanded Elijah to choose Elisha to take his place. Elisha, knowing that his master was about to leave him, went along with him to the river Jordan, about five miles. When they came to the bank of the Jordan, Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and struck the waters. Then the waters were divided on each side and a path was made across the river, and the two prophets walked across on dry ground. And as they walked, Elijah said, Ask what I may do for you before I am taken away from you. Elijah answered him, Elisha answered him, All that I ask is that your spirit shall come upon me in greater power than it comes upon any other man. And Elijah said to him, You have asked a great blessing, and if you see me when I am taken away, it shall come to you. But if you do not see me, it shall not come. As they still went on and talked, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire came between them and parted them. And Elijah went up in a whirlwind on the fiery chariot to heaven. Elisha saw him going upward towards heaven, and he cried out, O my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. He meant that in losing Elijah, the kingdom had lost more than an army of chariots and horsemen. After this, he saw Elijah no more, but he caught up the mantle of Elijah, which had fallen from him. With the mantle, he struck the water of the Jordan, which parted on either side, and Elisha walked across on dry ground. The sons of the prophet saw Elisha walking through the river alone. They said, The spirit of Elijah now rests upon Elisha, and they bowed down before him as their leader. Elisha did wonderful things. He turned a bitter spring into sweet water in the city of Jericho. And he made poisoned food harmless. And once in a time of famine, he satisfied the hunger of a hundred men with a few barley loaves and some fresh vegetables.